Welcome to Mornings with Mark. I'm Pastor Mark Patty, and thank you for joining me as I reflect on one of the scriptures for this week. This is the Tuesday of Holy Week, a week in which we are continuing our journey toward the cross with Jesus. And the reading from the New Testament, 1 Corinthians, uh, is today's text, and it it's one that it gets at how God's wisdom is uh, so far beyond our own wisdom, God's ways so far above ours. Our hope is not that we're going to get everything right, not that we're so great, but that God is so good, and God's able to work in and among and through even people like us. Listen in. This is 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verses 18 through 31. For the message about the cross is foolishness to those who are perishing, but to us who are being saved, it is the power of God. And for it is written, I will destroy the wisdom of the wise, and the discernment of the discerning I will thwart. Where is the one who is wise? Where is the scribe? Where is the debater of this age? Has not God made foolish the wisdom of the world? For since in the wisdom of the world, the world did not know God through wisdom, God decided through the foolishness of our proclamation to save those who believe. For Jews demand signs and Greeks desire wisdom, but we proclaim Christ crucified, a stumbling block to Jews and foolishness to Gentiles. But to those who are called, both Jews and Greeks, Christ, the power of God and the wisdom of God. For God's foolishness is wiser than human wisdom, and God's weakness is stronger than human strength. Consider your own call, brothers and sisters. Not many of you are wise by human standards. Not many were powerful, not many were of noble birth, but God chose what is foolish in the world to shame the wise. God chose what is weak in the world to shame the strong. God chose what is low and despised in the world, things that are not, to reduce to nothing things that are, so that no one might boast in the presence of God. He is the source of your life in Christ Jesus, who became for us wisdom from God and righteousness and sanctification and redemption in order that, as it is written, let the one who boasts, boast in the Lord. It's remarkable how Paul makes it clear that we are not to boast in ourselves, that uh, not many of us were wise by human standards, not many powerful or of noble birth. He even talks about his own proclamation as being foolishness. And yet it's through people like these, people like us, through proclamation like ours that is never quite as great as we'd like to imagine or make it to be, that God works through these things. I'm especially mindful in these days as I'm spending a fair amount of time proclaiming, which is my call, uh, through these devotionals or through the Sunday morning sermons in my times with staff or in other opportunities that I have, that my abilities fall far short. It uh, is wonderful to see how around the world, and certainly here in the United States, churches are stepping up, pastors are stepping up in a myriad of ways to proclaim the gospel. And not many of us have a lot of experience doing it into a camera. And yet God calls us to go and to do it. And we trust that God will work through our proclamation. I'm praying even right now that as I read the scripture and proclaim it to you today, you'll hear and by God's grace believe the good news that God loves you. And that you'll experience that wisdom of God that alone can transform your life. Mark Patty can't do it. Uh, you can't even make it happen on your own. But may God grant his Holy Spirit and accomplish uh, abundantly far more than we know to ask in, in among and even through us. So let's keep proclaiming. Let's keep trusting. Uh, let's pray together. God, thank you for your word that uh, was proclaimed through Paul and through myriad others. Thank you, Lord, for how you sent the church out of Jerusalem at a time they didn't want to go necessarily, but amidst persecution they had to so that your word spread throughout the world right now we're in a time that we don't really want to be in and yet your word is getting proclaimed in new and fresh ways around the world 
God, by your spirit, may your word be effective. May it not come back to you void. May it accomplish the purpose for which you send it. Bring salvation, bring hope, bring life to people around the world. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you.